data function can be used to uh, build uh, data processing workflows, machine learning pipelines, or backend with logic, complicated logic, if else. But before that, I think it's important to investigate some basic concept. For example, given a, a step function text, how input, how output is, right? So how the data is passed between text, how the format and how we can modify it. So let's jump in and, and play around with that. So I'm going to create a simple state machine which invoke lambda function and I uh, try, diff try to understand different concepts uh, like the input path, output path, result path, parameters because state machine means you we're going to chain multiple tags but how the data pass between them we need to understand the data format Uh, let me check my okay. It is construct and so the first step I'm gonna create a simple lambda function. Okay. Let me import the uh, path and FS to load the lambda code inline. Let me check. Sorry. Okay, so that is the lambda function, and next I will create a step function text. which invoke lambda function. So 
So what is the lambda function? So what lambda function, right? So I specify the lambda function. And uh, let me check anything else. And the output path. I will explain later on what 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 is the dollar sign here. Dollar sign here it means it output everything with what we compute and also some head uh, some other information from lambda. We can if we want only output payload so we that payload. But now I or I output or and uh, now we make a state machine. Okay, that's it. Let me create Lambda code. Very simple lambda. So this one is a context. Okay, so let's synthesize this. Uh, let's review again to see we miss anything. So we make a simple lambda function. And we create a tax to invoke lambda function. And we create a state machines. And CDK automatically create a raw to invoke the lambda function for us, we don't need to create a raw. Looks good, so we deploy. And while waiting, uh, we will review the ba some basic concept of, of step function. Okay. Okay, so some basic concept I trying is input, output, result path, parameters. Uh, let me show, I will try the, the output path first, it's the most simple one. So what is the output path? Output path allow us to select a portion of the output. For example, I just want to select lambda payload output. Right, so I can uh, dollar sign dash payload. And then we will try the resort path. So what is the resort path? Right. So uh, the state output is a combination of input and resort. Resort is a, what we compute inside lambda is a combination right so how they are combined sometimes we want to just pass through the input no need the the compute result so we can set it to null but if we want to combine in that case we want to insert uh, the result here we insert into the input and path so 
we will dollar sign dot test result and it insert here. So that's it. Or another case is we want we want only the result. We don't want the input. So just dollar sign. So now let's check. Uh, okay, so we finish and let's play with our state machine. Okay, so this is the uh, the output. It outputs both the payload, the payload, and uh, and everything else. Uh, and we can notice that the event. So the event is what the lambda receive, what lambda receive from step function, right? So it receives the command, the input. Later on, we will modify it also. What we modify what the lambda receive. So now I will try to modify it. I want I want only uh, the payload only. So so in the output I select payload only and save and new execution and check the output. Okay, so now it, it only outputs the lambda payloads, right? Not other uh, added information. So now we'll check the result path. Let's play with the result path. So I set the result path to no and let's see what happened. Okay. So in this case it just pass through the input to the output. When we give this uh, state machine an input and we do some processing by lambda. But you know we, we by setting the result path to null, no result. It just path through the input. And now uh, let we do another thing. So I want both the result and the input, but I want to have the a name for the lambda output and let's see. So I, I expect to see two things, the input, the commands, and also lambda output. Uh, okay, let's see here. Okay, so I see the command, commands, which is the input. And I also see the result, which is lambda compute. And it has a name a node name, JSON node name, lambda output, right? So that's this. And now uh, the other parameter is the uh, the parameters. So let me create, an, uh, for that I create an, a new state machine because I'm not able to try this with uh, lambda invoke. So I just, the most simple one, path through drag and drop and uh, okay and just next yeah and AWS is gonna create a new role for for us Okay, and we can start uh, execution to see what happened. Okay, so it just pass through, but I want to modify the input. So I gonna modify here. 
let me check okay so now let's see what happened Oh, let me check. I want to see the parameters. So, let me check. Okay, let's check the output, input, and output. Okay, so that is the the parameters. We see the new command, and yeah, yeah, that is the parameter. So that's all. We check some basic concept: input, output parameters, result path, output path. And thank you.